Hello again and welcome to another Kit Plus TV show brought to you with the support of Media Proxy. So the last couple of years have seen the advancement of broadcast technology accelerate faster than ever before. And it's important to celebrate and recognise noteworthy achievements in creative technology for the broadcast and media entertainment industry. Of course, and this is what the Royal Television Society in the Thames Valley are about to do again. And here to tell us a little bit more about themselves and the awards is Stephen Stewart. Hi, Stephen. Good to see you. Hi, guys. Nice to be here. Thanks very much. Sure. So, yeah. Stephen, before we get into the awards, can you tell us a little bit more about the RTS and, I guess, specifically the Thames Valley? Yeah, the RTS is a membership organisation in the UK representing the TV industry. And in the Thames Valley, obviously, we've got a rich history of both manufacturing and production. Um, it's been the base of manufacturing for many years, lots of technology companies here. And we've obviously got Pinewood at one end of our area, Rebellion Studios at the other, with the new studios being built in Reading. So we're right at the heart of um, the conflation between technology and mm. creativity. That's interesting because you, I mean, you said so the Thames Valley, but for those who aren't familiar with it, is that sort of, you know, flowing west out of London along the M4. And it really was a centre of uh, broadcast manufacturing for, for, for forever. Does it still, is it still the centre of excellence for, for that? Does it still remain that way or is it a bit more disparate now? I think it still feels the centre of it. Um, obviously, because everyone's working from home, lots of things have changed. Um, but I think um, many of the manufacturers are still based in the area, either physically or emotionally. Um, and it might have widened a bit. And I think with our um, area of the RTS as well, um, because people can remote into lots of our events that we've been doing, we've seen people joining our events from all over the country. So I think the same is probably true for the manufacturing yeah. side. You mentioned okay. events there, um, Stephen. What um, what things have been going on this year in 2021? Well, we've had lots of different events. Um, we've obviously, like everyone else, we've um, not done any face-to-face -face events um, for obvious reasons. Um, but in the past, we've had mm. all sorts of events. We've had um, more portable news gathering. We've had technical colloquiums. We're about to do another one of those in February next year, which might be face to face or it might be hybrid um so we we pick events that sort of really um go behind the scenes of the industry either the technical side or the creative side um but mainly i think our sweet spot is where those two parts of the industry meet so we we bring the the production people together with the technology people um and the the borders are blurring a little bit between those because there's lots of consumer kit that um is now getting up to a high level of quality that production people can use themselves so producers are becoming more technical and i think technical people are becoming more aware of the creative processes that they're supporting so our events cover that whole wide range of anything of interest so Yes. On that technology side, we've seen that the RTS, uh, as, as, as the Thames Valley, has opened up uh, entries for the awards. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, the Thames Valley Centre Awards, they're very much focused on people. So we don't um, give prizes for the best box that has the best solution, or we don't have content prizes like best film, etc. It's all about people um, and sort of celebrating the people behind the scenes. Um, specifically, we've got five awards. We've got a production award, and we've got a creative technology award, student technology award, innovation, and an unsung hero award. Um, so the production award is really to celebrate people who work in production but aren't necessarily technical. So they're just people who go the extra mile to make their production or work better with their team. The Creative Technology Award is specifically for those people within the industry who are bringing together those two areas um, successfully, because sometimes that marriage isn't always um, a happy one in the past. So that's very important. Mm. Um, we're obviously blessed in our area with lots of um, world class education establishments. So we've got the student award. So again, it's rewarding an individual student for either um, doing well in their course or providing extra support for their team or anything like that. Um, and innovation, I think of all years, this is the year where we've seen so much innovation in how we work because of COVID and things have happened so quickly to make things um, really innovate faster than we've ever seen before. So I think this year there'll be a real 
interest in that award um again as an individual or a company award because companies have provided lots of innovation as well and then the unsung hero award uh, does what it says on the tin really something that covers any of the areas and somebody behind the scenes who just makes a big difference but no one would otherwise notice mm. yeah i'm sure there's there's a lot of unsung heroes in our industry yeah. so um Stephen, how do you or how does the rts become aware of all these nominees how how do do um, companies put forward an employee or does a university put forward a student uh, it completely varies. The nominations are now open. They opened on the 22nd of November and we've allowed a decent amount of time. They don't close until the 14th of January. So people can nominate themselves. People can be nominated by companies, um, by peers, by bosses. Um, the nominations are on the rts.org.uk website. So there's a simple form to fill in. Um, and I have to say the, the mere uh, a fact that somebody is nominated it's such a, a boost to their morale especially in this year just to be nominated whoever's nominated them and then when they're shortlisted uh, again such a boost and if they if they end up winning one of these awards they they're an rts award winner they're up there with the best in the industry so um yeah entering couldn't be simpler yeah rts.org.uk or if you just search on google um rts thames valley you'll get taken straight there and are you, are you able to give us a little bit of an insight into who or how, what the, what the, the who, who the judging panel is, or the judging process? How do you go about, you know, splitting them all down to get them down to the shortlist? Yeah, it's it's a tough one. It's, um, we've got industry experts. Um, we break it into each award has a panel, and there's a chair of that group, and we obviously make sure there's no conflict of interests. Um, so we we don't announce who the judges for the categories are until we've had all the nominations, because we could find uh, there could be a conflict in there. But we've got a team of people, probably about twenty people already lined up, um, industry names ready to do the judging. We have a, a set of criteria that will be on the website you can see what the, the categories are and what we're looking for in each one and then uh, the awards will be judged based against those um those criteria um and then yeah. shortlisted on that basis so yes and i, I think um Stephen, the awards mm. used to be part of like an annual an annual dinner dance a big celebration are there any plans to get back to that um in 2022 well, it's, it's again, it's a, a big, big conversation, isn't it? Um, because we know the award ceremony, we've got that scheduled in for the 16th of March. Um, we've not yet finalized what form that's going to take. I suspect it will be hybrid and so therefore streamed and in person. Um, we've got the venue lined up. Um, I don't think it will be an enormous dinner dance event. I think, I don't think people are ready for that just yet. I think we wait and see how it goes and we'll we want to be safe and we want to be responsible um so we'll play it by ear but i think it'll be a physical event uh, that people can also attend online i guess that leads you how do people actually how do people get involved can anyone attend uh, if not you know how do i register how do people get involved in the rts with the rts um that again really straightforward go to the rts website rts.org.uk um or as i say just search rts thames valley that'll give you all the details um, um it's a membership organization so to attend um some events you need to be a member to attend other events um our guests are allowed as well because we want to widen the mm. appeal of our events um uh, across the whole range of people in the thames valley Brilliant. Cool. Thank you, Stephen. We uh, will wish all the nominees and everyone entering the awards the best of luck in advance. And I'm sure, I'm sure we'll catch up either between now and, and March, or certainly at the event itself to see to see those winners. So thanks very much for coming in. Do check out rts.org.uk, or as Stephen says, simply Google RTS Thames Valley, and you can find out everything you need to know about the awards. Thanks to Media Proxy for their ongoing support of Kit Plus TV. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.